Kia ora mai, it's Mike Atkinson. This presentation is looking at how to follow a bearing. So you are, have already created a bearing, whether that's through a field to map or map to field or field to field bearing. So you've already got your bearing and this is a presentation on how to follow that. A bearing is just a direction and it is expressed in degrees or a number between 0 and 360. Once you've got your bearing, there are three methods of following it. So holding the compass flat and out in front of you, making sure you haven't got a radio or a phone or something on, on your jack, front jacket pocket that can interfere with it. Making sure that the red needle is on top of the red orienting arrow so all red is in the shed then you follow the you look for a feature where the direction of travel arrow is pointing towards so that feature uh, will depend on a number of things the terrain that you're in whether it's a bush open open sub alpine terrain on the snow and the environmental conditions so whether it's fog rain fine etc etc so Examples might include an obvious tree, shrub, uh, obvious rock outcrop or prominent rock. Um, so if you look here, this where this person is here, their bearing takes them directly towards this prominent rock here. And so that's where they would then, once they've identified that as a feature to walk towards, they can put the compass down and take the focus off the compass and then just walk towards the best way to get to that feature and then you just repeat the process once you're at that rock then you look ahead on the same bearing where is that going to take me where's the next feature i need to walk, walk towards so this is aiming at a feature method it's important that you uh, don't look at your compass while you're walking. Obviously, you might trip up, but the key thing here is that um, if you're looking down at your compass, then you're more likely to veer off course off your bearing. So make sure you stop, look at your compass, look at where direction travel arrow is pointing, walk towards that feature, having put the compass down or away. The second method of following a bearing is, is aiming at a moving person. So this is where someone out in front, they may or may not have a compass, but the person in the back has a compass, or the person behind them has a compass, and both both people are walking together, or walking at the same time. And the person in the back with a compass is directing that person in front. Or tell them to go left or right or straight ahead, just keeping them on track. If the person in the front has a compass as well, that's also good, but the person in the back is, is the one in, in, uh, in, in control of, of keeping the bearing on track. This is efficient and efficient method as both, both people are moving together at the same time. The third method of following a bearing is aiming at a stationary person. So this is where you send someone ahead of you and you still person in the back has the compass and the person in front needs to take it to a certain distance away where this person in the back can still see and hear um, this person and tells them to stop and then then using the direction of travel arrow on the compass tells this person at the front whether they go left or right or they're in the right spot then the person in the back person b will then walk towards person a and then um, repeat the process so this can be a little bit slow stop start um, but it is, is a highly accurate method